Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Bulletin Prime. I am Rajni Khan, and in this video, we'll gonna see how we can deploy our static web applications or static content like uh, HTML, JavaScript code, or some Angular applications to GitHub. Right? So GitHub provides a functionality that is called GitHub Pages. So where we can deploy our static web contents so this is the home page of github pages you can go through this one okay let's start the process so here you can see uh, it's already a sample project is there i have generated it uh, using angular cli if you don't know means uh, you can refer my previous video where i have explained how to generate uh, a project using angular cli so after generating this uh, project you need to initialize with git right so how to initialize with git git init so after writing this command git init it will initialize your project with a local repository so I am not gonna initialize as already I have initialized and commit the changes to my local repository then the next command you need to do git add space dot means it will add everything to the staging area the next command you need to do git commit ifnm some commit message right so after uh, doing these three commands then if you put git log you can see uh, that commit message so commit has number here author date and uh, this uh, commit message initial commit right so uh, you no need to worry about this command so i will uh, provide this command in description uh, this video description so that you, you can utilize so this is one phase uh, then next phase we will do we need to push these things to git remote remote repository right so let's create a remote repository so let's uh, move to my repository sorry github page so here <clears throat> so here you can create a remote repository suppose first angular app then no need to do anything just create repository So here you can see create a new repository and command line. So these are the commands git init already we have run git add already we have run in local repository and git commit already we have run. So these two commands we need to run now in our local repository. This git remote add origin some URL. This means for this local we are adding this remote repository this https this url is referring to this remote repository and origin is that alias name so let's run this one yep got success you can test using git remote so it will show you that origin you see it's showing origin now let's push these changes to our remote branch yes it's got success you can see branch master set up to track remote branch master from origin 
so let's refresh this git page and we'll see here you can see right it's got it's pushed to a remote repository so this is uh, the second phase then third phase is there we need to add a npm package which is known as gh pages to perform this i mean it will help to build this application in build this application and help to deploy into git repository so let me clear this console first okay sorry not git ng add ng ulr hyphen cli hyphen gs 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 it will take some time so you can see something changed here then uh, this uh, package provides some commands we need to perform those commands so here the command is there ng deploy so what exactly this ng deploy will do let me explain in paint so ng deploy so it will build this project and generate generate those files in distribution folder then what it will do it will push those changes push those contents of distribution folder to github with a by creating a new branch new branch gh hyphen ts es right so and the deploy what it will do it will build the project and it will generate those uh, build files into a distribution folder dist folder then what it will do it will push those contents of dist dist folder to github by creating a new branch gs pages so in those in that gs pages branch in that gs pages branch all the contents of distribution folder it will be there so let's perform this ng deploy and you deploy hit enter it will take some time some few seconds
can see first it's got build uh, it got build then it's pushing into git right so in left hand side this project you can see that dist folder got generated here yeah, something index.html and some other files are there let's move to our github and we'll see let's refresh this page okay then go to setting go below go below here you can see github pages designed to host your personal organization or project files from github repository your site is published at this repo right so let's hit enter oops some problem is there so i'll i'll tell you what is the problem so the distribution folder is there right so this is under our repository but we have not told that one which repository it, it will search so you need to do ng d p l o y hyphen hyphen b a s c hyphen h r e f equal to this last symbol is mandatory then provide here a repository name this is our repository name this is your repository name so that this this classes are mandatory so ng deploy we are saying this distribution folder is there I mean that uh, branch is there in this folder fast angular app this repo so that it will recognize those build files again yep here you go let's see this is our uh, my github user take bullet in prime then dot github dot io and this is our repo name right so this is that whole uh, thing how we can deploy our static web contents or static things into our github repository and we can deploy that one so this is that uh, video for how you can deploy your angular applications i uh, hope this video will be helpful to you you people if you have any doubts or you are facing any challenges you can you can drop a comment in this uh, video section so that uh, i can help you out thank you